First, Second Corinthians, almost said it again. Second Corinthians chapter one, verse four, actually we'll start in three. Blessed be God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and the God of all comfort. I love that. You want to know, as Pastor Donna reminded me yesterday, who to blame and who to glorify, I'm glorifying God the Father, the Father of all mercies and the Father of all comfort. Who comfort all of us in our tribulation. So we are being comforted by the Father through the Holy Spirit in all tribulation that we may be able to. And here's where it goes from us receiving, but in tribulation, how we're supposed to be is that we may be able to comfort them for which are in trouble by the comfort wherewith we ourselves are comforted of God. What do we do? How we're supposed to act in tribulation is to comfort others. Now, we talk about God the Father. This is that relationship thing again. We've got a relationship with God the Father who's there to comfort us. Jesus and and John and Matthew talked about that comforter. So now we've received that comfort, and now guess what we get to do with it? Share it out. Send it out to as many people as we can. So when people bump into us, Okay, maybe I shouldn't use use the word bump into us in terminology with this social distancing thing. Um, When we bump into stuff on social media, people that we talk to on the phone or or video chat, our response, because now we should be receiving comfort from God the Father, we now should be comforting others. Not stirring up strife. Not stirring up panic or fear or paranoia, but to bring comfort. That's what we should now be giving. I'm not picking on the news media per se, but we don't need to be stirring up any panic. We should be bringing comfort to settle everyone's hearts. 